Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I will be making over two side tables. I have picked these up for $25 each. I have two of them and I will be using them in my family room to go along with my table that I have made over a couple years ago. So I will be uh, sanding the top just a little bit, not as much as I did with the coffee table, but um, just enough to get rid of the scratches and any imperfections that were caused by wear and tear. Uh, I will be paint, um, painting the top with a watered down, watered down Paris gray. And then I'm gonna top it up with the black wax and then protect it with clear wax. And the bottom is going to be painted with the original, any Sloan original, which used to be called Old White. So I have cleaned the table already the side table and for the little crevices as you can see the little designs which I will show you right now these ones right here sorry my trusted assistant is here um, for those little um, design uh, details there they were very dusty so I use an old toothbrush uh, a toothbrush to clean it all up So for the paint mixture, I'm doing three parts water to one part paint. And the paintbrush I'm just using, it's a legacy. Anyways, I got it at Home Depot. I went and I wiped some of it off just because I really want the imperfections to show. When I redid my coffee table, I sanded it completely down. There was no stain on it. I stripped it, I sanded it. This one, I wanted to give it a try without sanding it, but I still wanted a little um, wood imperfections like that one right there to show. And uh, so I applied the paint and then I took some of it off just so that would come through. Now I'm going to paint the legs and I'm using the old uh, white or the original to do that. For the paintbrush, I'm using the Benjamin Moore chalk paintbrush, the cartridge paintbrush. So that was one coat of all the white on the bottom. I'm just gonna show you what that all looks like. So as you can see, it's not fully covered, so it's going to definitely need a second coat. The top, I really like the way it looks, but it's not what I'm going for. So I need to kind of at least try to match it, but this is definitely a look that I could do on a different piece of furniture because I do love the way the top looks without the black wax. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'm going to apply black wax. So I'm going to use my black wax and a lint free rug, rug, rag, rag. And I'm going to just dip it and then apply it and then rub it in. So unfortunately this did not work the way I wanted to so I will sand the top down completely because when I started applying the wax the black wax it started taking off the paint as well and the paint was dry so I'm not sure what maybe it's the type of a finish that's on on it that's not working or I didn't rough it up it rough it up enough so I'm going to give it a good sander
Okay, so I had sanded it down most of it, as you can see. And now I'm gonna repaint it with the watered down uh, Paris Gray. And hopefully this will work. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry now and then I'm gonna uh, paint the second coat of white and then I'm gonna do the wax. So I am going to apply the black wax now. So here it is with the black wax. I ended up using a brush to apply it. It just works a little bit easier. So I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and I'm gonna clear wax the whole table for maximum protection. And I already started working on my other table, side table, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So to apply the clear wax, I'm using the Annie Sloan clear wax. I'm just using a dollar store brush Dip it a little bit in, make sure it's not overly saturated, and then I brush it on in a circular motion. And you don't wanna put too much, cause it will be too tacky, but you don't wanna put not enough. And then you will always, once it, it had some time to sit, I will come back with the rag and just wipe it off. So here it is, all finished, and I love the way it turned out. I think the top looks really good. And here are the details, uh, if you can see. I didn't go overly heavy with the coverage just so it pops out. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If this is your first time stopping by, make sure you press the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And for those of you returning, thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.